Welcome to Ruby's Black Swamp Adventures. My name is Connor Rose and this is Ruby the Bright Tree Frog coming to you from the Butterfly House here in White House. Serenity will surround you at this beautiful garden setting. Sit back, relax, and enjoy as live butterflies flutter all around you. Inside we will meet Duke Wheeler who will be our tour guide today. Let's go check it out, Ruby. Hi Duke, Ruby and I really appreciate you joining us today. Well, thanks for coming out. Well, Duke, I have a lot of questions for you, so I'm just going to get right to the point. How's that sound for you? That's fine. I hope I have the answers. Well, I'm sure you do. So why the butterfly house, Duke? Well, about 11 years ago, my wife and I went to Mackinac Island, and we visited a butterfly house there, and we just fell in love with the happiness and the expression on people's faces, and we thought we'd bring that to Northwest Ohio. How do you go about building, like, a butterfly house? What we did is took pictures of the whole facility and uh, contacted a consultant out of Colorado who specialized in building butterfly houses, and he came over and told us what we needed to do as far as regulation and construction, and then we, we built the house. Well, I've been looking around, and there's just a ton of butterflies everywhere you look. How do you go about acquiring all the butterflies? Well, we have a permit from the U.S. Department of Agriculture for about 300 species of butterflies. Uh, each week throughout the summer, we obtain our butterflies from butterfly farmers throughout the world. Each week, we import pupa. Uh, everybody thinks of a chrysalis, but pupa is a... Uh, we, we import that. A chrysalis is for the butterfly, a cocoon is for a moth. Oh, how many butterflies are in here? On a weekly basis, about 1,000 to 1,500 uh, butterflies. Uh, at any given time, we have about 30 or 40 different species of butterflies. Do they stay here all winter? No, as I said, they only live three to four weeks, and they die. We close our season in uh, end of October. As a matter of fact, uh, the end of this month, we reduced to three days a week because when the schools go back, there's fewer children, and it's a very quiet day for the butterflies. So in the fall, you do a monarch release. Can you explain to me what that is? Well, what we're trying to do is to promote a positive environment. The monarch butterfly migrates to Mexico. So right now, we're raising monarchs. Uh, with the early spring this year, some, migra some monarchs have already migrated to Mexico. What we do is we have monarchs that lay eggs, form caterpillars, form chrysalis, and we're going to tag them. And hopefully, we'll have three to 500 monarchs that will fly to Mexico uh, September 29th this year. We're here in the corn maze, which is one of the many attractions here at Wheeler Farms. Duke, can you tell me why the corn maze? Well, the corn maze is just a good fall activity for families and, and groups. Uh, this year our theme is Bowling Green Falcons and the Toledo Rockets. Uh, football is right around the corner and we thought that'd be a good way to start the season. So how do you get something like this designed and cut? We had an artist draw it out and a, a person from Idaho came out with a GPS and a John Deere tractor July 4th weekend and just cut the cornfield. It took about 12 hours. So can you do day tours, night tours? We do day tours and night tours. Uh, people go through each of the mazes on their own. Uh, our hours are Thursday 5 to five to 10, Friday 5 to midnight, Saturday noon to midnight, Sunday noon to 8. So the, the maze has a different appearance when you go in the daytime versus the nighttime. I can bet. What other attractions are here besides the corn maze? There are just so many I can't even name them all. We also raise shrimp. We have a shrimp farm. We're going to have a harvest on September 15th. Uh, we put in 20,000 juvenile shrimp that were about a half inch long and now they're about six to seven inches long. So that's a fun day. And then the White House Christmas Tree Farm opens up. It's a cut your own farm. It opens up the Friday after Thanksgiving through December 16th this year. And that's, that's a special place because that gives families a chance to walk around in nature, pick out the perfect tree, which is the tree the woman of the house likes. You don't want to argue about a Christmas tree. Well, thanks Duke for having us out today. We had a lot of fun at all these great attractions. Well, thanks for coming out. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining us today at Wheeler Farms. Be sure to tune in for our next adventure. In the meantime, check out all the great WBGTV membership perks, including the membership card, which offers great savings at great attractions like this. For more information, visit WBG.org. Hop along.